new day. We must be starting from unit eight, lesson 17 today. And we are gonna start with a can you guess game. So I have picked two letters and I'm gonna do the dance moves for the letter sound. And you are gonna guess which letter am I doing? Which letter sound? Okay, here I go. This is the way the... This is the way the... <laughs> Which letter am I pretending? <laughs> letter L. Good work. Okay, let's try one more. This is the way the. This is the way the. Which letter am I pretending? This is the way the hound dog breathes, the hound dog breathes, the hound dog breathes. This is the way the hound dog breathes. <sighs> For letter H, H makes a sound. All right, let's see what's next. <laughs> All right, yay, it's time to blend and make more words. So remember, this is the sound A and a T makes the sound at. Can you say at? At. We're gonna take a beginning sound, let's do. S, what sound do an S make? S. When I point, please say the sound. S. At. S. At. And when you blend it, it makes the word sat. Sat. When you say sat, good work. Let's move the first beginning sound and let's put another sound there. Ooh, I wonder what word this one will make. What sound do a P make? At. Say the sounds with me. At. At. And when we push them together, they make the word at. Pat. Pat. Can you say pat? <laughs> nice word. Let's change at. And let's put an there. Do you remember which two letters make the sound an? An A and an N. N. Can you say N? N. And this is a P. Hey, let's keep this right here and let's see what word this will make. Say P. N. P. N. P. N. When you push it together, it'll make the word P. N. Pan. 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 Can you say pan? Good work. Let's move the P and let's try one more sound. Ooh, what sound is this letter make? A T makes a T sound. Let's say it together. T. An. T. An. T. An. When we push it together, it makes the word tan. Tan. Can you say tan? Tan. We did it. That's all, guys. Let's see what's next. Loud Earth, page 135. And on this page, we have two letters to look at closely, okay? We have the letter Y. This is a capital Y and a lowercase Y. We're gonna look at the lines it takes to make a capital Y. Which capital Y is the right Y to rate? Notice that it has two small slats at the top. Slat here and a slant here. But look right here, it has an up and down line in the middle. If you look at the lowercase y, it has one small slant right here and a long slant over here. So you're gonna look at the y closely and find which y is the right y. And then you're going to circle them, okay? What's this letter? This is the letter Z. Look at the lines it takes to make a Z. I see a line across the top and a line across at the bottom. And what is this line in the middle called? What kind of line is this? A slant. This is a small Z, a lowercase Z. Take time out to look at your paper closely and circle the correct way to write each letter, okay? You know what to do. Let's see what's next. All right, it is time to review some sight words that we learned already because we are getting ready to read a new short book. So these are the sight words that will be in the book. Do you recognize the sight word? Which sight word is this one? Th. 
These are the sight words you'll need to practice for this week, okay? Is. I. He. E, you, he, you remember that one? He. Ooh, what's that one? R. And. And we have a new sight word. Look closely at it. What is the first letter you see? B. What's the last letter you see? Y. When you put a B and a Y together, it makes the word buy. Can you say buy? Buy. This word is buy. It almost looks like my, M-Y, but it's not my, it's b b buy. Can you say buy? Good work. Let's put the pictures away. I wanna show you the pictures that are gonna be in our story. This right here is a picture of a Pond. Can you say pond? And this is another picture in our story. Frog. Our story will only have these two pictures in it. Wow. Because it will have lots more sight words in them. So please practice your sight words that we just went through. Because you'll need to know those sight words to do our story for our next lesson. But before we go, I want to tell you what the title of the new story will be. Let's see if you can read it. Can you read the sentence? The Pond is the title of our new short book. I can't wait to see you next lesson. We'll practice building sentences using these sight words and these pictures. See you then. All right, guys, I wanna practice a song with you using the vowels of our alphabets. So we're gonna start with the long A. You might have heard the song before. It goes a little something like this. I'm gonna make a shorter version of it, okay? It goes, I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Now we're gonna sing it again, but we're gonna use the long A sound. Do you remember what sound the long A makes? A. Here it goes. It goes like this. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. We're gonna use the E sound, the long E. Now, did you hear that? I like to eat, eat, eat. Eeples and bananas. <laughs> Let's try it with the I sound. The I. Here we go. I like to ipe, ipe, ipe. Eeples and bananas. I like to ipe, ipe, ipe. Eeples and bananas. <laughs> Let's try it with. Oh, are you ready? I like to oat, oat, oat. Opals and bonobos. I like to oat, oat, oat. Opals and bonobos. <laughs> That's how it sounds when you use the O sound. Let's try it when you use the U sound. I like to oot, oot, oot. Opals and bonobos. I like to oot, oot, oot. Opals and bonobos. <laughs> That was fun. Thank you for doing the apples and banana song with me using our vowels. Thank you. Let's see what's next. Yay! The title is Moon Bear's Pet, and the author is Frank Ash. The author writes the words in the story. All right. I'll read the words first, and then I'll show you the picture, okay? Here we go. One spring day, while playing in the pond, Bear found a new pet. Oh, what a cute little fishy, cried his friend, Little Bird. What will you call her? Oh, I remember this page was on the back cover. Remember, we see it in the back. So this is little, this is Bear. This is Little Bird, and what does he have in his hand? A little fishy, okay. And he's standing in the 
Where's the setting at? In the pond. All right. As Bear hurried home, he thought of names that he could call the little fishy. What about Skinny or Sweet Pea or Slowpoke? But none of those names seemed quite right. Then he dropped his pet into a bowl of water and she landed with a splash. That's it, cried Bear. We'll call her Splash. When he's going home, he drops her into the bucket and she made a splash. So what he decided to call her was Splash. Bear and Little Bird love to watch Splash swim and blow bubbles. They put Splash on the floor while they played and on the kitchen table while they ate. Wait, what? Did you hear that? They love to watch him swim while they play. They put him everywhere. Look at they took him in the kitchen too. That's a strange looking fish, wouldn't you say? After lunch, they took Splash outside to watch while they worked in Bear's garden. They even took Splash shopping. <laughs> Check it out. That's them working in the garden. Can you see Splash? <laughs> and over here is him shopping. <laughs> Every night after Little Bird flew home to his nest, Bear stayed up late talking to Splash and telling her bedtime stories. Aww. Every morning, Little Bird brought Splash a present, an acorn, a seashell, a pretty pebble, or a pink button. How oh, sweet. As the days and the weeks passed, Splash grew bigger and bigger. Whoa, look at Splash now. I see some changes going on. Do you? Whoa, wait, wait a minute, let's go back. First, he looked like this, and then she changed to this. What do you see now? I see some feet. One day, Little Bird chirped. Look, Splash is growing wings. She must want to be a bird just like me. Bear took a close look at Splash. Those aren't wings. See, there are four of them. They must be paws. Splash is becoming a bear just like me. <laughs> oh, little bird thought he was turning into a bird because he looked like he was growing wings. And bear thought he was turning into a bear because it looks like he has paws. <laughs> oh no, but what do you think that he's turning into? What is he actually turning into, guys? We've learned about this animal before. Why would anyone want to be a clumsy old bear when they could be a beautiful bird? Chirped Little Bird. Indeed, exclaimed Bear. Why would anyone want to be a chirpy sack of feathers when they could be a big, strong bear? Well, I guess we'll just have to let Splash decide for herself, huffed Little Bird. That's just fine with me, Bear huffed back. Uh-oh, they're having a little disagreement. So Bear and Little Bird put Splash into a tiny pool next to Bear's pond and promised each other not to visit her for a month. And don't visit me either, said Bear. I wouldn't dream of it, snapped Little Bird. Oh no. So they put their pet into the pond and they walked away from each other. They're gonna leave him there for a month and they're gonna go back and check on him and see what the fish turned into. Bear and Little Bird used to play together. They used to play together. Now they play alone. Hmm. How you 
think they're feeling? Think they miss each other? At the end of the month, Bear and Little Bird met at Splash's pool. Now we'll see what a fine bear she's become, Bear mumbled. Or what a fine bird she's become, grumbled Little Bird. But Splash wasn't in the pool. Splash! Splash! Little Bird called up to the sky. Splash! 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 Bear called into the woods. Where do you think Splash is? It's not in the pond. Just then, a young frog hopped up and croaked. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Please, don't bother us now, little frog, said the bear. We're looking for my pet, Splash. But I am Splash, said the frog. What? What? But you're not a bear, said Bear. Or a bird, said Little Bird. I was never a fish either, said Splash. I was a tadpole. And tadpoles don't become bears or birds. They become frogs. Bear was so surprised. All he could say was, but wouldn't you rather be a bear? I'd rather be a frog, said Splash. But wouldn't it be best if we were all birds, said Little Bird? No, replied Splash calmly. I think it would be best if we were all friends. Nice. Bear was silent for a moment. Then he said, I think she's right. I agree, Little Bird. I missed you, Little Bird. I missed you too. And I miss both of you, cried Splash. Come on, let's all go for a swim. They are becoming friends again. And look, now they're all friends. This looks the same like the front cover. Good idea, said Bear. Great idea, chirped Little Bird. And they all jumped into the pond with a splash. Kiddos, it's blue time, and for blue time, you are going to need to pull out a page from your packet. Look for page 136. It's a 136, and it is the page that looks like this. It says the words, this year, you're going to write your name in this space learned, and then you're gonna have a parent or a family member help you to write something that you learned this year. And whatever words you choose to put in these spaces, you're gonna try to draw a picture to match it. Have fun with your drawing and illustrating your pictures. See you next time.